I've had a few people ask me, how do I get the iPad Mini to show on the screen? Stick around and I'll show you how I do it. Well, good day everyone, thanks for joining and I hope you're well. Yes, I, uh, as you know and as you can see right now, I have an iPad, this iPad mini that is uh, projecting onto the screen and uh, it's a relatively straightforward app that I use um, and I thought I'd just take you through that now and show you how I've set this thing up to work so that when I want to flash the iPad up on the screen, you're able to see it uh, in a lot clearer view. So let's jump straight in. So firstly, the app itself is called NDI HX Capture. So if you navigate over to the App Store and search up uh, NDI HX, where is it? HX Capture, there it is. And it's that one there. Now, as you can see on the top, right there I've already got it so it's it'll obviously you'll have to download that it isn't free from memory I think it's ten dollars US 999 from memory but don't quote me on that it's not that expensive uh, so download that application and then once you've got that application downloaded you can simply fire it up so once you've got the app downloaded, obviously you just click on the app itself. Now, for me, I've already got this running in the background, obviously, because you're now seeing it on the screen. But to take you through it, it's relatively easy. You'll literally click on that red dot there at uh, halfway up, and you'll have a dialog box that'll pop up similar to this, and it'll say start broadcast instead of saying stop broadcast in my case. You literally will just click that start broadcast. It'll do a countdown, three, two, one, and then go, and off it'll go. So that's how you do it from this side. But what we do need to do is obviously configure it from your recording software, in my case, uh, Streamlabs OBS. So I need to show you on the operator station now how you configure this at that end as a viewing window. Let's go to the operator station and let me show you from that side. Okay, here we are at the operator station where we're going to ultimately add an NDI source, which is the iPad uh, app that we've downloaded, as you would have seen before. And we're going to, this Streamlabs OBS is going to see that uh, NDI source at this end. But before we do that, if you haven't done it already, you need to download NDI tools. Let me show you where that is now. Uh, so if we just go and have a look at uh, my web page here, so we've got ndi.video forward slash tools uh, and you've got this download NDI tools. So click that, uh, you'll download for Windows or Mac if you're on Mac, but download for Windows, um, simply just for Windows and you'll download that into your default directory or wherever you want to do it. Uh, and you will be able to go from there. Once that's done, you should be able to go back into Streamlabs OBS and it would actually now see uh, the NDI as a source. So let's assume that I've downloaded the tools, which I already have done. Uh, if we go back now into Streamlabs OBS and what you're doing here is you're looking at sources and if you've downloaded that software correctly, you should now be able to see another uh, point here on your general sources called NDI source. Now if you click NDI source and you click that there and you add the source, uh, as you can see I've already got this as an existing, uh, but you could add a new one like that and you would literally put the name of the source in. Uh, and it should see it. If you've got it running on your iPad and you've clicked start, uh, it should now see that source. And you can add that source in. So I'll add that one in here now. And now I've got that source which is being shown. And like with any OBS um, source, you can resize, move it around, do whatever you like with it as well. Um, so that's that's it's pretty straightforward once you've got that done. So the other cool thing that once you have got it, done is to be able to turn it on and off dynamically. Uh, so obviously once you've got it fired up you can literally set a hotkey to this 
to uh, to turn it off and on dynamically. And again, relatively straightforward. If you go down to the settings tab down here, uh, I'll just lock that in position actually, just for the sake of this exercise, just to show you it there. If I go down to the settings tab here, and you'll note, sorry, bear with me before I do that. You'll note that I'm on sim operator station. Uh, that's the scene, if you like, that I'm on. So make sure we're on the correct scene. Remember that. Uh, go to settings. Go to hotkeys. And if I scroll down to the sim operator station scene, which is where I am here, open that up. And then you've got this show iPad mini hide iPad mini and you can set hotkeys so let me just put S for show and I'll just put uh, D for hide uh, and then click that as done now if you look at this I can go D and I hide it S and I show it and you can then map those hotkeys back to your um, Elgato Stream Deck or something like that if you've got it which is exactly what I do when I'm inside the sim and I've fired it up and I want to just turn it off and turn it back on again I'll do that from my Stream Deck uh, inside so there you have it it's relatively straightforward and I hope it uh, has, uh, has helped well there you have it guys that's that's pretty much it so Download the NDI app in the App Store, uh, configure it from your iPad side first, head over to Windows, download, download NDI Tools. Once that's downloaded, you should be able to see that plugin inside of Streamlabs OBS and literally add the NDI as a source, which should come up if you've activated it here. Hopefully that works for you and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye for now.